Hello, curious learners. This is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to learn about FOIL today. And what on earth that has to do with polynomials. So what is FOIL? Um, it's the tin stuff that you use to put leftovers on the fridge. Not really. When we're talking about FOIL, we're talking about the first outside, inside, and last. So this is kind of a, a way to help us remember what to multiply when we're working with binomials. We're going to do first, outside, inside, last. And to learn what that means and take a look at it, first I thought it would be good for us to actually look at a set of binomials that were being multiplied and identify what we're talking about when we talk about first, outside, inside, last. So the first term is the first term in each binomial. In this case, it's 7x in our first binomial and 3x in our second binomial. So it's the first term inside of each, bi each set of parentheses. The outside terms are the terms on the far outside. The, it's the first term in the first set and the last term in the second set. So they're on the far outside of the, the parentheses. You can see there that if you look at this entire multiplication question, it's clearly on the far outsides. To contrast that, we've got the insides. The insides are 6y and 3x. Notice they're on the far inside of this entire multiplication question. So you would next multiply them. And then the last terms are the two final terms inside of um, with each binomial. So in the first one, it's 6y, and in the second one, it's y. We also like to include that negative in there, though, so it would be negative y as part of the last, um, the last term. So that is the part, those are the parts of multiplying binomials. And you need to understand those parts, first, outside, inside, last, before we can move on to actually using FOIL to solve binomial multiplication. So let's take a look at an actual question, and we'll use these same colors throughout. It'll help us to remember and hopefully make things clear. So here is a multiplication question with a binomial. Negative 8a minus 4 times negative 5a plus 1. So go ahead and pause the recording. Try and solve this using FOIL with what we've talked about before. And then I will show you, fully show this example solved. All right, here we go. The first terms, negative 8 and negative 5a. So we start off by multiplying those two terms. Negative 8 times negative 5 is a positive 40. a times a is a squared. The outside terms, the terms on the far outside, negative 8a and positive 1. Well, anything times 1 is, gives you that same thing, so we have negative 8a. Now we're going to move to the inside terms. Negative 4 times negative 5 gives us negative 20, or positive 20, and a. There we go. Negative times a negative gives us that positive 20a. And the last terms, or the final term in each binomial, negative 4 and positive 1, we multiply those together and you get negative 4. So now we will look at our um, polynomial we have down there. We've got negative 8a and positive 20a. You see the yellow and the blue. Those are like terms, so we can join them together. 20 minus 8 is 12. So we have 40a squared plus 12a minus 4. Does this process look familiar to you at all? Perhaps from our previous lesson, maybe? Um, so anyway, just think about that for a minute. And I'll give you another question that you can solve. Try using FOIL for solving this question. The first terms of each binomial are 2x and 7x. When we multiply them together, we get 14x squared. The outside terms on this multiplication question are 2x and 5. 2x times 5 gives us 10x. 
Then we'll look at our inside terms, negative 3 and positive 7x. That gives us negative 21x when we multiply them together. And our last terms are negative 3 and positive 5. We multiply those together and get negative 15. Again, we have a situation where we have some like terms, positive 10x and negative 21x. We can join together those like terms to get our final answer. 14x squared minus 11x minus 15. Did you like using FOIL? Let's talk a little bit about FOIL versus the distributive property. Um, if you notice, we're doing things very similar to what we did with the distributive property. Um, so let's talk about the difference. FOIL is used in many schools. Um, FOIL is part of um, curriculum. It's also part of some state testing to understand and, and recognize that acronym of FOIL. It's easy to remember because you can say it quite quickly, FOIL. And people will maybe know what you're talking about. And FOIL is wonderful for multiplying binomials times binomials. So if you're multiplying two binomials, you can use FOIL and you will always get the correct answer. Now let's talk about the distributive property. Um, for those of you who may not have watched the previous video, in my previous video multiplying um, binomials, I actually used the distributive property. And with binomials times binomials, it's, it's basically the same as FOIL. Um, the distributive property is being used in some schools. It's not completely widespread yet, yet but it is growing um, using the method that I taught um, in my previous lesson, the distributive property. Um, the distributive property, distributive property is harder to remember. It's harder to say. Um, and so it's not quite as catchy as the FOIL method. But here's the big advantage. The distributive property works for multiplying any kind of polynomial. If you're multiplying a monomial like we did in earlier lessons or if you're multiplying two binomials, using the distributive property is going to work every single time. So this is why I prefer the distributive property. I want you to be aware of the FOIL technique as well because you will see it is very commonly in kind of widespread use but the distributive property is going to work and be a little bit more diverse. It'll work in different circumstances. So if you're not completely familiar with the distributive property you can check out the the previous video on um, multiplying binomials and that will show you the distributive property in action and you'll notice that for binomials it's very very similar so because this is a lesson on foil we're not going to talk about that distributive property anymore we're going to do one more question using foil it's good practice for you so go ahead and solve this multiplication question using the foil method Let's start with the first terms. x times x gives us x squared. Our outside terms, x times negative 8 gives us negative 8x. Now we're going to multiply the inside terms. 2 times x gives us 2x. And the last term in each binomial, positive 2 times negative 8, will give us negative 16. We have some like terms there negative 8x and positive 2x. We'll join those together to get our final answer of x squared minus 6x minus 16. So some things to remember for the FOIL method. You need to remember first, outside, inside, and last. If you can remember what the word FOIL and what each of those letters stand for, then you're in good shape for multiplying binomials. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.